understand that sometimes you may need to cancel or freeze any one of your integrations. You can do it directly in your inventory source dashboard by clicking this drop down arrow in the top right hand corner and selecting cancel integrations. Here you can do one of two things. You can either freeze your integrations or you can cancel them altogether. Freezing the integration does charge a fee of $9 per month per integration, um, but it does also preserve all of your catalog data, all of your in integration data, um, so that when you are ready to reactivate the feed, you can just come right in, turn it back on um, without any downtime, without losing any of that information. So we'll go ahead and we will freeze this particular integration. You'll see a modal that pops up that reminds you of this $9 per month fee. And it also shows you your next billing date as well, in case you needed a reminder there. Go ahead and click freeze one integration. And you can see now that this particular integration is frozen. If you do wanna come back in and reinstate this integration, you can easily do it by coming right back to this cancel integrations page and clicking this arrow here. So now you've reinstated the integration. Um, just note that once you do that, your integration will still be paused until you go into your integrations page and actually activate the feed. Um, once you activate the feed, your updates will start running like normal and you will be charged that full amount for that subscription fee for this particular integration. If you do decide that you wanna cancel altogether, let's go ahead and click cancel. Here you'll see again the modal that reminds you the difference between freezing and canceling does give you the option to freeze instead if you've decided that you've changed your mind. Um, but otherwise, go ahead and click cancel one integration. Here we give you the option to schedule a call with us. So let's say that there is some, uh, maybe some issues with the supplier and that's why you're looking to cancel. We'd really love to know about it. We'd really love to work with you in getting it resolved. That way we can hopefully help you keep this integration. Um, but if you are ready to just cancel it for whatever reason, go ahead and do that. We do also ask for your feedback. If you could just let us know the reasons why you're canceling, um, that really helps us on our end get a better feel for, um, for what's going on with you. If you are having any issues, again, we'd love to be able to reach out and discuss and try to get it sorted out. But you know, otherwise, if you're just taking a break, you can indicate that there as well. And then we ask you if you could just rate us. Um, on a scale of one to 10, not likely to very likely, how likely are you to recommend inventory sources services? And of course, you can add any additional comments here um, in the comments box. If you need you know, any additional assistance, you can indicate that there. Um, really use that for you know, whatever you feel is necessary. And you can click finish and cancel. As a reminder, your, um, your integration will still be available to you until your next renewal bill date. So you can see here the next date for this account is uh, the next bill date for this account is May 10th. So you'll still see that that integration is available to you in your integrations dashboard. Um, after the 10th, you'll see that it's been removed altogether. Same with the freeze pending. If you do have a cancel pending that you decide that you wanna reinstate, you can come in here and again, click the arrow. And again, just reactivate that integration. We do, of course, again, always encourage if you are having any issues, please reach out to us. Um, you can email us directly at support at inventorysource.com or you can, of course, follow that schedule a call link and we'll be glad to give you a call and help you out.